All right, folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And the title may be a bit confusing. It says I'm going to stop testing the ZTE uh, Axon M. I'm only going to stop for a few days because, well, first off, uh, it needs some real screen protectors on it. And uh, I'll be getting those. And second off, we're going to finish up our testing on the Alcatel. After all, I've had it for a while, and I actually use it quite a bit. So, let's get to the uh, intro, and then I'll give you a little bit more info. So, basically, the uh, as I stated... I'm going to pause testing. I, we're not going to quit using it. In fact, we're shooting this video because it's front facing on the uh, ZTE. By far, it's got the best camera. It's got uh, the best speakers of all the three phones I own. It, it just needs really good screen protectors for me to be willing to take it to work and lay it down. So we're going to go with a set of these. Uh, Skinomi wet application screen protectors. I've watched several videos on them. They're very cool. You, you basically get both sides wet. You kind of move the thing around to get it where you want it. And just leave it there. And let it sit overnight. It'll look like hell. It'll have bubbles and all kinds of crap in it. But as the liquid uh, that you spray on evaporates, the protector shrinks down and bonds, and you end up with a bubbleless installation almost every time. And for $785, you can't beat it. The link will be in the description below. Now, the Alcatel. Uh, this phone has grown on me. I mean, even though it's only got 64 gig of RAM or ROM storage total, because I put a 32 gig in it. If I decide to make it my daily driver, that will all change, and I'll swap everything around, and it'll get the 128 SP card. Not until I get a decent screen protector. Now, there are some downsides, I want to tell you, off the bat to the ZTE. But keep in mind, at $140, check the link in the description below. Uh, this is a budget phone, folks. You're looking at a phone that can game. It has a 20 megapixel camera. has EIS. At 1080p, it can shoot 4K. Who cares? I would never shoot 4K in reality. There's just no necessity for it. Uh, we're shooting 1080p right now on the front facing camera. The microphone is excellent. Everything about this phone is excellent, except for hanging it from a gooseneck mount. I can't put it in there and spin it around and use it because of the damn buttons will be getting pressed. And there's no place I can set the phone where the buttons won't get pressed. I probably need like a tripod that grips it from the sides rather than vertically. Uh, I could, if it had, you know, center mounted cameras, that'd be a different story, but it doesn't. Uh, so, that's about all I have. Uh, the Alcatel, though, is a really good phone. I've come to appreciate it. The, the display is clear and sharp. It's not as bright as the new, but it's damn close. And in the, uh, the war we had between the, uh, uh, the new G3, which will come up in one of the cards at the end, and this for camera photos, depending on which comment you looked at, it turned out to be pretty much a draw. 
I couldn't really tell a lot of difference. Hey, certain photos, both of them have lousy bokeh effects. I don't really give a shit about bokeh. Uh, it's a gimmick. You don't need it. Who cares? Shoot the picture. People can't differ. You know, if their attention span is so low they can't figure out what you were shooting at in the middle of the photo, well, they need to get off the crack and pull their heads out of their ass and start breathing again. So, all that being said, I still think the uh, ZTE XLM is uh, the coolest budget phone you can buy right now. There's just nothing neater and the wow factor. Now, I use it at work all the time because the speakers are really good. They're not like my tablet speakers, which shoot out the side and if there is no wind noise and no cars driving by, I can almost hear a video when I'm watching it. Yeah, I got these. You know, Bluetooth or... I got to use Bluetooth. That's about it. Uh, and the ZTE still has the headphone jack. There's nothing not to like about this phone other than the weight. It's a little hefty. And uh, the noise you hear in the background is the neighbor's kids. Uh, because kids have no sense of volume. Not my problem. Sorry about that. I'll go out and kill them later. Alright, so, if you found this informative, useful, or any of those cool things, give it a thumbs up. Leave feedback in the comments. If you've used a Skinomi uh, screen protector, let me know. Now, I know some people swear by the hard ones, but if you get them wrong, they're like every other damn screen protector. These tend to just bond to the surface. And you don't have to sit there and go, with the bubble out? There's none of that. Get a clean sp spray on the solution they give you. Wind it up. Set it down and walk away. Eight hours later, you'll have a nice one. There are plenty of videos out there. Look up <coughs> Skinomi Screen Protector Install. I might link one in the description if I remember. Uh, we'll see. So, we haven't really stopped testing. We had to pause here. Yeah. I'll still bring this thing to work. Uh, and, uh, you know, put it on Wi-Fi and download stuff and look at stuff and play around and whatever. So, that's all I got. So, that being said, if you found this useful, informative, etc., there's the usual little uh, subscribe, bell, thumbs up. Do all three. Make my day. And share the video. Share it everywhere. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Instacrap. Wherever you put stuff. Thanks. Catch you in the next one.